So in this video, we are going to work with decimal squares and multiplying decimals together. So I'm going to actually teach Josh how to do it. I'm going to do two examples and then I'm going to allow him to do one example and let's see how he does. I'm now going to show you how to multiply decimals using base 10 models. So for the fifth grade standard, they really want you to be able to do it with models instead of the traditional algorithm, although I'm going to show you both. So this represents hundredths because there's 100 of these, and 100 would make up a whole. So if this whole thing was shaded, it would be one whole. So let me give you an example so I can show you how would you multiply this. So say I have 6 tenths, and I want to multiply 6 tenths by five tenths. So I'm going to show you with shading. So the first thing that I'm going to do is get two different colors because I want each color to represent a different number. So tenths are if you shade in a whole column or a whole row, which is 10 of them. So I'm going to shade in six tenths, which is equivalent to 60. So 60 of these are going to be shaded. So let me just show you. There's one tenth two tenths. I'm not the best colorer, but I did pass kindergarten. So that's all that's important. Four tenths, five tenths, and six tenths. Okay. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six tenths shaded in from my first color. Now I am going to shade in five tenths. But here you are going to, because I did these as a the orange was my column up and down. Now this is going to be my row. So I am going to shade in five tenths. So as you can already see, there's going to be some overlap, but that is exactly the point. So let me shade in five tenths. One, two, three, four. When everyone's looking at me, I can't color. Five. All right, so I have one, two, three, four, five tenths shaded in. Now, here is where you get your answer. This whole portion, sorry, this whole part that is overlapped, that is your answer. So how many squares do I have shaded? One, two, three, four, five. So there's one, two, three, four, five this way, and six shaded in this way. So instead of me counting, I can already see that I have 30 shaded in because this is an array there's five by six or if you would like to feel comfortable by counting you can do so so my answer is 30 hundredths another way is six times five is 30 and if i move this decimal over once and this decimal over once that would be one two spaces um moved over so again all I did was shade in one for my column, one for my row, and then the part that they overlap is your answer. All right, guys, let me show you another example. So now I have nine tenths. So again, I'm going to shade in nine tenths or 90, because if I add a zero there, I would have 90 shaded out of this 100. So nine tenths, kind of blocking, but one, two, three, four. I already know that 90 is going to be one less. So let me just shade that in so that you can see. All right, that is 9 tenths. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, or 9 tenths. And now I am going to shade in two tenths the opposite direction. It doesn't matter if this is your row or this is your column, you're going to get the same answer. So then I'm going to go over this and do one, two. I'm going to do this dark so we can see that overlap. And art is incorporated because it makes purple, right? Pink and blue together make purple. All right, and now I am going to count how many are all together, which is this space here. I can't really see. Let me get a different color. Right here, where they overlap, 
right? If I had two full rows, it would be 20, but I'm taking away those two, so this is 18. So my answer is 18 hundredths. Again, I multiplied 9 tenths, shaded in, by 2 tenths, shaded that in, and my answer is where they overlap. And notice how 18 hundredths is smaller than 9 tenths and 2 tenths. So when you're multiplying two decimals, your answer got smaller. And now I'm showing Mr. Joshua Ratchford. Let's see if he can take what I taught him and let's see if he can do this. So what are you multiplying? Um, 4 tenths times 2 tenths. So... I think I got this under control. So, <laughs> one, two, three, four, four. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay, so I'm going to shade those in. I'm not the best color. I um, color better. Oh, outside the lines. I know. I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> so did I. <laughs> All right. So, I'm not the best person in the world, so. Look at mine. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, now there's to a white spot there. There's a and white there, spot. And there. I'm just joking. I get the point. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now two tenths opposite way. Bam, that's where it overlaps. <laughs> Are you trying to be funny? <laughs> no, you were trying to be funny to me. All right, that makes you green. Beautiful, beautiful <laughs> colors. He's so mocking me. All right. Um, so now this is where... Let me handle that. I'm taking over this show right now. All right, so right here is where it overlaps. Right here is where is your answer is. So, you know, it's 8. 4 plus 4. 4 plus 4 is 8, and that's your answer. So then you get 0, bam, 8 tenths. Oh, is this 8 tenths, though? 8 hundredths. Ah, ah, see? Ah, there you go. But that's good because some other fifth graders, Josh is a fifth grader, by the way, but some people may put the 8 in the tenths place. Why is this not 8 tenths? I want you to know mathematically that this is not 8 tenths because remember, there's 100 inside of these. So if there's 1, mm. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, there's 8 out mm. of 100. So that's 8 hundredths, not 8 tenths. So that's 8 hundredths. Oh, and I so, forgot. Very good. I, I forgot to do what you did. What did I do? <clears throat> and guys, this is what you get. Oh my God. 8 hundredths. That's not funny. Thank you for um, tuning in to Everyday Recalculating.